Here's example two from our circles lesson. Identify the center and radius of the circle. Pretty typical problem. Notice, however, the form they've given us is general form. So I can't just look at that normally and know what is the center, what is the radius. So we want to change it to standard form, which I've written here, kind of remind us what that looks like. Much more useful because we've got that HK built right in, that's the center. And then we can also see the radius very quickly. So our goal is to change this general form, make it look like standard form. To do that, we're going to complete the square. So first of all, I'm going to group my x's together. So I've got x squared plus 8x plus something. I like to leave a box there, remind me uh, well, what I'm doing in the process of completing the square. Now let's group our y's together. So we've got y squared minus 2y plus something. And I'm left with this negative 64. It's not helping me complete the square. So let's just add it to the other side. So if I add 64 to both sides, of course, it would become a 0 here. And then we'd have 64 over here. All right. Now let's complete the square. Review that process. So this middle term is the key how we know what goes in the box. We're creating a nice perfect square trinomial here. So half of this term and then squared. So half of 8 is 4. Square it and we get 16. We just added 16 to that left side of the equation so make sure you add it to the right side as well. We want to keep our equation balanced. Now let's do it for the y as well. So half of 2 is 1. Squared is still a 1 so we're just going to add 1. Again, we add it to both sides. Now, by creating a perfect square trinomial, it'll factor into a nice perfect square, x plus 4 squared. So if I multiplied that out, we'd get x squared plus 8x plus 16. What's that 4 come from? Oh, it's half of 8, or it's the square root of 16. Let's factor the y part down. Again, it's always going to be a nice perfect square. That's what completing the square does for us. And that equals 81. 64 plus 16 plus 1. Now we've taken it, changed it into a much more uh, user-friendly form. The center, of course, HK. Those signs, remember, are backwards. At least they fill backwards. Those negatives are built right into the formula there. So my center is negative 4, 1. My radius is the square root of 81, which in this case is a nice number. It is 9. There is example 2.